All right, we are on our way to Marco Island, Florida, departing Bohicket Marina. It is Wednesday before Thanksgiving at 12.45, and uh, we have two fellow, fellow voyagers on the trip with us. The first is Sean. Sean, what do you have to say about the trip? We're very excited to be here and can't wait to set sail. And we are glad to have her on board. She's uh, She just digs right in. She just does whatever needs done and it's great to have on board. Next we have Jake Williams, her dashing and debonair husband. Jake, what do you have to say? Looking forward to the trip. All right. Next we're going to check in with the uh, captain on our, our routing. All right, Captain, what do you have to say? Where are we going? Okay, we're off. We're heading to Marco Island, Florida. Got a little weather along the way. We might have to port, hole up a little bit, maybe in St. Augustine or um, Port Canaveral, but I think we're gonna have a really lovely next 24 to 36 hours and we'll report back shortly. And our trip will be about four and a half days solid on the water if we did not stop, um, but we're probably gonna stop. So we're probably gonna be at our final destination about a week from now. All right, we'll see you guys shortly. Here is your four o'clock check-in. Sees them in calm this afternoon. We have been very fortunate. We do have the sails up, um, but not a lot of wind. We are looking forward to some wind picking up around seven o'clock tonight, maybe 15 knots. So that will be awesome. And, um, traveling through the night at that same speed. So that means we can turn off the engines, yay! And whoever is not on watch will be able to get some sleep. Now, I wanted to give you guys all a little tour of the boat because I never have done that yet. This obviously is the front of the boat. This is the, uh, the husband's fish, fish cooler when he catches a big one. It's going in there. And uh, excuse me if this is a little tipsy, but we are moving. So this is the bow. This is our little veranda. We call it the veranda because it is kind of like a little oasis, a little porch you can go away to. Some people don't like them because they think that they are super dangerous and they will fill with water and you will end up with a sunken boat. But you see that drain down there, that drain. Um, is where all the water would go. If you were in extremely rough seas, the water would go down there and would go out. It will completely empty. If it were full, it would completely empty in 10 seconds. So that's pretty good. Now we go in. This is the captain and the Jake. Yes. Uh -huh. They've been busy navigating and um, putting waypoints in so our journey this evening will be easy to follow and we won't get lost you guys have any updates for the watchers yeah you got you got about a midnight arrival at cape canaveral should we choose to stay at cape canaveral thursday thursday night midnight and uh and then if we decide to keep on going we could suffer 25 knots of wind, 30 knot gusts, but it would get us further south. We'll make that decision later. Uh, and I'm going to go put filters in the water maker. Ah, good. Having and, fresh water and is I'm handy. Watch. And I might video that. Ooh. Ooh. Exciting. While they're doing that, here's the rest of the galley, kitchen, really nice patio door. Refrigerator and freezer, television, dining table. Oh, and there's Sean. Looks like she's chilling, reading the paper. And there's looking out the front door. All right, you're probably wondering what this video is about. This is about starting up the water maker. We've had it winterized because we didn't use it in the uh, waters that we were in because they were too dirty. And so now that we're out in the blue water, we are going to be changing the filters 
in starting up the water maker. So, um, yeah, he, he, he had to do a lot of things upside down on this boat. Good thing we have people who know what they're doing. <laughs> We have a Spectre water maker, as you can see, and uh, they are the best. We've used it once before, and um, but this is the second time. These are all the supplies you need to take care of your water maker. Lots of extra filters, cleaners, winterizers, and um, this is actually a really awesome water purifier filter. We have a Seagull water filter in the kitchen so that we don't really need to worry about having purified water because the Seagull takes care of that for us. This is underneath uh, one of the bunks, by the way. So, it's about a uh... 6.30 and just giving you guys a little update on our trip. Seas are still pretty calm. The sun is setting. Beautiful. It was pink a little while ago. And then uh, on this side of the boat voila, we have the moon rising. Beautiful night. It's supposed to be absolutely phenomenal sailing with that moon as our light it will be surely enjoyable being on watch. Good morning! And what do you have to say about today Dawn? Well it's a lot different than yesterday. The waves are uh, quite a bit rougher and the best thing is we have to turn the engines off. Yay! No more noise. I think I'm gonna go back to sleep now that the noise is gone. Yeah, we're seeing, uh, you know, they're 6.8, but we're consistently getting 7 to 8.5 knots uh, most of the way. I think we've got about 100 miles, maybe something like that, to Cape Canaveral. And we may be ducking in there for a night or two, unless I can talk the crew into continuing the journey. I'm not so sure about that. Depends on a lot of things. Such as weather. Uh huh. Well, which consists of a lot of things. <laughs> All right, very good. Sometimes, and we caught a tuna this morning, 
and we have had a fantastic time watching the dolphins that are escorting us in to our destination. The final destination today will be Port Canaveral. We're going to pull in there because the weather's supposed to be bad tonight, and uh, we don't want to be out there. So, that's the update. This morning we are uh, repairing our engine and uh, Mr. Captain Stephen Bell is going to explain what's going on here. We found some a little bit of coolant spray in the area of the motor housing down here so we figured it might have been a little bit of overheating. Um, there is some coolant out of the radiator so we'll top that off but we also found a belt that was fried the main belt um, that was obviously operating the alternator and everything else so Jake you can see in there what that belt ended up looking like and uh, we don't know that I have that belt as a spare unfortunately so we might be making a trip to the Myanmar shop to try to find a belt for it. What's today? Saturday? Yeah. Yeah that's not good is it? Well would the marina have it? I don't know. We'll see. So there you have it. That's what we have to deal with right now. And that boat goes where? It's um, right around here, around the main flywheel, alternator, and you can see where it's torn up around the alternator as well. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we have a belt issue we have to deal with today. So it's a good thing we uh, got in last night. As we're waiting for the engine repair, what better to do than to wash the boat? Swap the deck swab the deck. So we got Captain on the uh, top tier there. It's getting getting pretty clean, getting pretty clean. We got Sean, hard working Sean. And you got Jake. Jake, you want to be in the movies? In the movies? Look at that! He's even doing underneath the cockpit, getting all that sawed off. Woo! We never had such great help. Couldn't pay somebody to help like that. It was awesome. Thank you. Sometimes it's good to break down. Yeah. Oh, cleaning. It needed it. It's a fighter. Everybody see him? Yeah, this fishy. Yellowtail Jack. All right, there he is. But it was fun catching him, wasn't it, Stephen? Final ten pound tack. We are departing Fort Pierce, Florida. Finally, our engines are repaired thanks to Florida Diesel and uh, thanks to. Fort Pierce Marina 
We had a wonderful stay, but are super glad to be on our way. And we have favorable winds forecast. We'll see what it's like once we get out there. See y'all soon. Here's the latest update. We are underway. We are about uh, Turkey Point Nuclear Facility in uh, coast, off the coast of Florida. And we are getting 14, 15 knots of wind. We are making between 7 and 11 knots. And uh, our, our uh, waypoint is the next turn, which will take us down where the Florida turns, which will be great to finally make that turn but we've got great wind and no engines Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! and then we're about at sunset so you're on your last watch for the daylight yep very well Largo and we have been sailing all night. We've had, had a, um, an interesting night. Lots of stories to tell. We have covered about 150 miles since 3 p.m. yesterday when we left Fort Pierce, Florida. So we made amazing time. We had 20 knot winds on average all night long. No problems. We did have to take the main sail down one reef while we were out there, which was uh, a little challenging in the middle of the night in the dark, but made for a lot easier sail on uh, the people that were trying to sleep. So today we are headed towards Key West, and uh, we'll just be staying pretty close to land, just outside of all the keys on the way down, and hope to have a wonderful sail again today as well. The wind is in our favor again, so uh, just blessings all over this trip. Once we left Fort Pierce, it's been all good. Nice to have Captain Don. First Officer Don. Thank you, Captain Steven. I'm gonna get a view of the transom and have a look at some of the land action we got here. West this morning and we anchored here got in about 2 a.m. and this is what we see this morning here sailing a little chilly but they're out there captain is preparing uh, lines again always working on those lines Jake is uh, helping with the lines, always helping with the lines. And uh, Sean is, what are you doing, Sean? I'm trying to sign on to lift so we can get a ride to the airport. Ah. 
All right. Sean and Jake are taking off today to go back to Chile, Charlotte, North Carolina. Ooh. Actually, they are in uh, Raleigh. They're going to Raleigh. Our view at dinner tonight, lots of sailboats anchored in the Wisteria Island anchorage in Key West. And we have lots of sailboats out there with lots of sails. We have a lot of them that don't look like they have any people. Coming up behind that is a probably 100 foot yacht doing at least 25 knots. I bet he's burning 200 gallons an hour. Not us! We made it from Fort Pierce to Key West and we burned five gallons of fuel. Woohoo! Okay, we're on our sail today from Key West to Marco Island. It's absolutely gorgeous. We left the dock at 4 a.m. this morning, not a dock anchor. We actually pulled anchor at 4 a.m. this morning, snuck out of Dodge, came out of the channel of Key West. It was rough this morning, probably three to five foot on the nose a little bit, but now it's come around just fine. We're back in the backwaters of the Florida Bay, so the ocean is nice and calm.
Harbor Marina. We hope it is truly a safe harbor for our baby. So we'll be back in two and a half weeks. Cool place here. Very much like Seabrook and Kiowa, actually. But on the edge of the Everglades. Here we go, the mangroves. <laughs> 